Hello students, welcome back to our Engineering Mechanics Dynamics class. Today we're going to talk about um, some problem solving strategy. We're going to discuss some basic steps um, that you can apply uh, for um, problem solving in dynamics. So today's learning objective is um, to be able to discuss basic steps for solving problems. So um, if there is the so solving problems is um, sometimes very easy for some of us but sometimes it is hard for some of us to figure out how or where do we start and how do we solve the problems and it can all always make uh, can be made simplified if we follow uh, certain steps so we're going to talk about that um, and then we're going to solve some recti rectilinear kinematics problem. So let's um, move to the next slide. Um, so why do we um, solve problems? Solving problem is an effective way of learning. So if we solve problem, it will be effective, very effective for us to um, be able to um, understand and um, apply dynamics. Problem solving, like uh, I said, can be much simplified by breaking down the whole problem into subsequent steps. I have made some basic steps um, that I will follow uh, in my lectures. Um, if we follow these steps, the problem will be much simpler, but you are always welcome to uh, develop your own solution steps. Uh, or you can add more details into those uh, basic steps that I have listed here. Um, the way it is better for you. So the first step for solving a problem is to find unknowns, knowns and knowns and unknowns. Um, to do that, we should read the problem very carefully and identify from the given data what is known. What what are the data given? what is unknown what the problem is asking for we also have to look uh, for any special consideration or assumption is stated uh, in the problem so once we identify the knowns and unknowns then our next step would be um, drawing any necessary diagram diagram also helps us to understand the problem and solve the problem um, easily um, and it, it also helps um, for the reader to read the solution easily. Um, so we have to draw all the necessary diagram and label properly. Then we have to make a plan for the solution um, how step by step um, we're gonna solve the problem by correlating the knowns and with and unknowns to the theory we have learned in, the, in in previous classes so if we can connect the knowns given and the unknowns what is asked for to the um, theory the theoretical equation that we have then we can use those equation to solve the problem and um, just a cross check before we go to the solution we have to check if the units are consistent sometimes in a, in a given problem the data the units of the data is not consistent not in the same um, uh, and same um, standard unit then we have to convert them into same standard units once we're ready done with this then we can move to the solution so we have to find solution by solving the relative equation that we have identified and um, we w while we do that we need to show all the necessary steps for solving problem so do not uh, skip a step while you're solving a problem um, solving an equation um, and this is necessary to get full credit so if full credit in exam and homework so do not sk skip any step in your homework or in your exam and this is also helpful to get partial credit for example if you 
ran out of time and you do not get the final answer you can still get some points partial credit um, if you show the necessary steps or uh, if your final answer is wrong or due to a typo or a miscalculation you can still get some point if you do um, show necessary um, step and do not do not skip uh, steps um, of solving equations uh, finally once you arrive at a solution check for units it's a unit of your answer does it make sense and also physical realism of the solution so the result numerical result you got does does it make any sense? You know, sometimes in some problem you have to make decision based on your results. So also you have to check does the decision I'm proposing um, whether it is make any sense or not. So after those cross checks, once you're ready um, to finalize your answer, so you can box out your answer, and it's easy for us to find out which one is your answer. So always box out your final answer. Alright, so let's um, go move ahead and solve some problems. Today we're going to solve three problems. 